Hey guys, Greg's 96 here. Uh, today's... What the hell is today? August 6th? 7th? August 7th, I think. Let me look at my phone. I think it's August 7th. It's August 7th. It's about 6.30 a.m. I'm getting ready to head out to go to Manchester Airport. And then go to the hot, oppressive, 102 degree, 12% humidity Dallas, Texas. So I got a haircut and a shave to try to stay cool somewhat, and uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on. So uh, come along with me on this first day in a week in the life of Greg. So I landed in Philly. It's pretty loud here, probably. I mean, the camera a little closer so you can actually hear me, but yeah. So I landed in Philly. Uh, I just grabbed lunch. My first flight was delayed half an hour, so that's shouldn't my lay over here. But um, yeah, so I just had lunch, and now I gotta go find my gate, and hopefully you actually hear me in this segment. All right, guys, so I have made it to my hotel down here in Dallas. Um, we'll take a look out the window real quick. There's a pool right down there, but um, yeah, so I made it to the hotel in Dallas. I got to do a little bit of work soon for both Big Box and my job, which is the reason I'm down here, but um, yeah, so I just figured while I'm in my room real quick, uh, two things, I'm going to sit down real quick. Um, so one, I realized uh, I didn't mention in my little airport thing when I was getting lunch there. I wanted to get some like takeoff and landing footage, but I had aisle seats on both my flights, so that wasn't really happening. And I didn't really vlog in the airport because it was like super loud. And I'm sorry because the air conditioning kicked on right as I was starting to record. And it's hot, so I don't want to turn it off. Uh, so I'm going to do a what's in my tech bag with the exception of I've already taken out my GoPro equipment because I need to set it up in order to do what's in my tech bag. So uh, obviously it's not in my bag right now. So uh, let's get the camera set up on the tripod and do a what's in my tech bag. So I'm going to start with why the hell am I wearing this glove? It's holding all sorts of bandaging in place on my hand because I got a chunk of fiberglass stuck in my hand yesterday. So, uh, yeah. So we're gonna start with this little pocket up here. This little pocket has like my wallet, my uh, little notepad, business card holders, a couple more business cards, pen, flashlight, name tag, um, airplane adapter for regular headphones to airplane headphones because some airlines still use that. Uh, I didn't have that problem today. So that stuff's just there because a lot of this would normally be like in my pockets, except I was in and out of airports all day and you have to empty your pockets at TSA. I decided to just throw it in there. Let's go through the boring stuff that would be like cave. Okay, so first pack of tissues because I have a bit of a cold. Um, mini display port to HDMI adapter for using my laptop with TV is a second screen while, street, while I stream this week on Wednesday, because I will be streaming Wednesday like always. Uh, long ass HDMI cable to go from there to the TV. Uh, 12 watt wall brick, 12 watt wall brick with a um, micro USB cable. I have a lot of cables. Uh, Ethernet cable, which is going to be important for my stream. Uh, 5 watt wall brick, a lot of wall power bricks. Headphones, these are my Audio Technica earbuds. I love these things, they are active noise cancelling, they use one AAA battery. I've had these for like a year and a half and I haven't changed that battery yet. 
These are the ATH ANC 33IS. I have little foam ear tips on them. They come with a nice carrying case. I like them. They're not bad. The only thing I don't like is they have a 90 degree adapter on the end instead of a straight box cable, which sometimes, depending on the case you have, can be a problem. I don't know what else is in there. Uh, six foot lightning cable. This is uh, not an Apple one. This is by Pilot. It's full metal ends and it's a woven cable. A little more durable. Uh, USB to SD card reader with an SD to micro SD adapter, just because I always carry that. Uh, USB to mini cable, USB hub, 256 gig USB flash drive, normally on my keys, but I didn't bring my keys with me this week. And another micro USB cable. And I think that should be it for that, so on to the main event. Okay, main event. Uh, wireless Logitech G602. I do enjoy this mouse very much. It's a pretty good mouse. So I'm going to put that over there because I'm actually going to get that set up soon. A 10,000 milliamp hour rugged battery bank with two USB ports in it. Uh, it's by Gorilla. This thing was like 30 bucks. It's pretty awesome. I'm probably not even in the frame. I like it. Um, yeah, pretty rugged battery bank. Does the job. Uh, let's get on to the computers, I guess. 2012 non-Retina 13-inch MacBook Pro with an i5, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gig SSD, and a carbon fiber slick wrap skin on it. Um, this is, I brought this for the conference that I'm here for because it already has like my Windows partition and stuff because this is my main laptop. Um, and I need to have a laptop while I'm doing it. I also have a second computer with me, which is a 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro with a black carbon fiber slick wrap skin on it. Uh, this one's got eight gigs of RAM, an i7, and an ATI 6970M. Uh, so this is a non-retina as well. This has got an SSD in it too. I've upgraded it. Um, yeah, that one's just a little bit more powerful. It's kind of like more of a workstation computer, a little bit bigger screen. Uh, external keyboard for that, because because of the size of the computer, I feel like the edge of the uh, edge of the keyboard digs into your hands a little bit when you're using it on a desk. So I brought this because that computer is going to stay in the hotel room the whole week. Um, 80 watt MagSafe adapter for the 15 inch MacBook Pro. 65 watt MagSafe adapter for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Logitech G230 wired gaming headset because they're a comfortable pair of headphones and I needed a better mic and didn't feel like bringing my Yeti along. And that's it. Like, this is only a couple day trip, so I didn't really. One, since I was going through the airports, I didn't bring like my tool bags or anything like that because I usually carry like an iFix a kit and stuff like that. Usually I have a knife or a razor or something, but obviously can't bring that through airport security. Um. And then real quick, let's just do this here. Um, my GoPro camera case. Obviously, there's a tripod adapter on my GoPro right now. Um, I got a suction cup adapter, which has a tripod head and a tripod adapter. Uh, the waterproof black back case, just a random piece there. Uh, I think this is the bicycle mount. Tilt adapter. Uh, sticky pad. Insert for the bicycle mount. Extra screw. And then this panel here, which has a two battery charger, a couple extra batteries, another five watt USB brick, and then a couple SD card, uh, micro SD cards, and an SD card adapter. Obviously, the tripod that you saw, and a little handheld monopod. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what's in my tech bag, at least for this trip. Um, mainly just an editing workstation, a laptop, and a bunch of accessories to go with it. And, uh, yeah, so that's about all I got. We'll see you guys with whatever the hell the next segment is. Oh, and then one quick other thing. Um, let's take a look at the room, because even though this is a, like, three-star hotel, this room's actually pretty nice. So, bathroom. It's a bathroom. <laughs> I've already christened it. Um... 
little bench thingy, pretty big bed, which has the mess of what's in my tech bag, little closet, an old ass TV, a power strip with a bunch of free outlets on it, which is nice, a lamp with two outlets on the desk, a coffee maker, I don't do coffee, um, relatively uninspiring desk chair, desk, this hotel does apparently have free Wi-Fi, but even more importantly is, has this little ethernet dongle thingy so i haven't tested that yet we'll do a speed test see the results of that little tiny microwave little not so tiny mini fridge chair lamp um and yeah that's that's about what's it for the room nothing real exciting in here yeah nothing really exciting so um i'll see you next time I'm doing something exciting today all right so the results of the speed test are in dun 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 6.44 by 1.81. Ah, hurts a little bit. Um, ping's only three milliseconds though, so the ping's not too bad. I haven't even bothered to run a ping test because I'm sure it's super jittery and I just don't want to find that out. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to make it work. At least they had ethernet. All right, so I got my workstation set up over there. I just don't have my headphones connected up yet. And then I've been working on my other laptop, which actually has GIMP installed, because somehow I don't have GIMP installed on my workstation one, um, to do the overlays and whatnot for tonight's GNL show, my, the GNL show. Um, make two versions of the overlay, because by the time you watch this video, you'll know if Gordo was or was not here, but he thinks he might not be able to make it, so I made one for me, Gordo, and Tim, one for just me and Tim, and then I had to make the sponsor card for tonight's GNL show. And tonight's, or in the case of you watching this video, last night's GNL show was brought to you by Gordo's Dead MacBook Pro. May it rest in peace. Yup. So, um, yeah. It's a little before. The rest of the company I came down with is supposed to go out to dinner. And, uh, they're going out at 6, but it's 7 o'clock. I have GNL show because I'm on Texas time now. So it... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to debate if I want to go down now to grab my dinner or if I'm just going to wait till after GNL show. I'm not sure. So it turns out the hotel restaurant are the ones who provide room service. So I'm just going to do room service and have them deliver it up here. So, uh, yeah. Dude at the restaurant was super nice. He was like, yeah, no, we can, we can do it however you prefer to do it. And I was like, cool, that'll work. Awesome. So I just got what is perhaps some of the fastest room service I've ever gotten. I ordered dinner like five minutes ago, assuming that it would probably come during GNL, but uh, it just arrived. So, over there, not on the bed. I'm gonna chow down real quick, have dinner, and um, yeah. Then I'm uh, GNL it up. Saving money is, yeah, hold on, wait, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Can I just interrupt you real quick? Of course Tim's internet is totally perfect. Tim is at home with his almost gigabit connection. I am in a hotel. Sorry, I was answering the chat. So guys, GNL show just happened. Uh, currently in the process of trying to download Steam on my laptop here. Should have done that before I left, but I'm an idiot. So, you know, that's a thing. I hear Tim whispering in my ear, yes, you are an idiot. Yes. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I'm going to try to install Counter-Strike, maybe, and try to give that a go, question mark. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to about do it for today's Day in the Life of Greg. So, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. That is all.